Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Right next to me, we have a 1966 Ford Galaxy with a 390 V8. Runs extremely nice, completely redone interior, fresh paint, and just an overall extraordinary vehicle. Be sure to like and subscribe below so we can give you more content. All right, I'm gonna start off with the front end of this Galaxy. Before we do that, if you wanna find out what the cost of it is, a full description and a full photo gallery, please look down below in our description. Back to the front end, extremely clean design. This is like a box design with the dual headlights. The chrome on it is driver quality. The, the actual chrome bumper is beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Look at how nice the paint is too. When you start to look at it, it's beautiful. Open it up. You're gonna see a powerful 390 V8 with power steering and power brakes. Very clean, new ignition setup, new fuel filter. We went through the whole thing, drives great. It also has a manual choke, which is nice if you're in colder climates. Let me go ahead and close it. Let's go down the driver's side first. So the body lines are actually very straight. Paint looks recent, wheels and tires. The wheels are correct. The tires have about 90% tread. All of your bright work is original. So they probably removed this when they painted it. You got your 390 emblems here. And then as you look at the body lines on both sides, it's ex exactly the same. So there's no wreck or anything like that. The rear quarter is really big on these cars and I don't see any rust or bubbling on the paint itself. When you open up the gas cap, it's, cap, it's really clean. You see you got your vented gas cap right there. Top is brand new. That's one thing that I really liked about this car. It has a power top, so I can literally jump in there, flip the switch, and it'll close within 25 to 27 seconds. You can probably fast forward this. And then I wanna show you the top. We'll put it back down and continue on with our journey. All right, so I've got the top up. You can see it has brand new plastic in the rear. All of it looks really clean. There's no holes or rips. Let's go to the other side and then we'll put it back down and we'll continue on with this walk around. Extremely clean. Little mark right here, probably from when, they, when you close it, but it's not penetrating. Let me go ahead and put it back down and then we'll continue on with this walk around. Such a smooth operating top. You can see that beautiful interior as well. All the windows go up and down with ease. That's smooth. Close this door and grab the key so I can show you the trunk. Trunk is always the circle key for Fords. So what's neat about it is you have a ton of accessories, extra parts when they did the restoration. You have valve covers, you have small components, uh, the correct air cleaner and some moon caps. This also covers your, your top, so if you wanna leave the top down at all times, put it on there to look beautiful. All the paint shows really well, and when you look down all the body lines, I don't see any rust. Gaskets are new too. Let me go ahead and close it. Closes easily. These are normally chrome, they painted them in black, and I do like that. Rear bumper is really nice. I'd rate this paint easily a seven out of 10. You got your Galaxy 500 XL emblems here. Doors open up easily. They didn't paint the latches, that's nice. Just a nice driver quality car. Also has bucket seats with a center console and it does have a Bluetooth style stereo, which I'll show you shortly. Let me go ahead and close it and start her up. Right now it's warm, so it's gonna start right up. But normally, as I said, if it's cold, you have to manipulate the throttle a little bit and use the choke. You've got your horn under here. You do have an aftermarket stereo. Power steering is very easy. Center shift. Then you've got your Galaxy 500 emblem right there. Your turn signal indicators work as they should, as do all the lights. Let's go ahead and go for a ride. We're inside the cabin of the Galaxy. I want to show you the aftermarket stereo that's in the glove box. That's really nice. You have your original sticker here, which is really neat. This is the original red, so now it's more of like a ruby red. You have two speakers here. And it actually does sound really nice, so if you turn the power on. Not bad, it sounds great. Ooh, good song too. Oil pressure's at 30 pounds at operating temperature. Then you have your emergency flashers here. 
That's what's gonna, it's supposed to flash your lights outside. I don't know if it's hooked up. Let's go ahead and put it into drive. That'll be your drive position. And I apologize for the pollen here. It's really bad, it's 30 mile an hour winds. So if you hear any mic funny sounds from the mic, I apologize as well. Wipers work as they should. Turn them off. All your lights operate and the dash does illuminate. The original radio wasn't removed, which I like. You know, that's, you didn't have to cut into the dash. Steering is super easy. As you look at the rear, you're gonna see that there's no smoke coming from the tailpipes. It shifted just now, you don't even feel it. Steering is very even. It's going down the road easily. We're going about 40 miles an hour right now with no issues at all. I'm gonna go ahead and pull over because the hood looks like it's not latched. And then we'll continue on with our journey. Put our indicator on, give it some gas. Right now we're at 190 degrees. Voltage is at 12. Oil pressure is at around 45 pounds. This is your air condition. If you want air condition, just open up this vent. Runs down the road really nice. Brakes are also very nice. So I can push the brakes. It doesn't pull from left to right. I'm gonna turn around here. And you guys can make your decision on if this is the right Galaxy for you. You can reach us at 954-363-2261. We ship worldwide. So if you want to get a uh, shipping quote for a port or for a different state, just give us a holler. We're going to turn left here, and then you see it's going to jump out. We'll get some rolling outside shots. Before we do that, I'll uh, give it a little bit of gas so you can see if it's peppy or not. Let's pull out here. Turn signal off, ready? A lot of torque from that motor. That's the 60, super smooth. The transition's nice too. You don't, it doesn't bang into the next gear, it just smoothly goes into it. Let me pull over here. This thing, you can drive this thing every day. It actually drives really nice. <laughs> 